What's happening, Fish and Friends? Welcome to another episode. Today we've got a good old fashioned unboxing. Uh, some stuff here. Some of it's from like the spring. I haven't got around to unboxing it uh, or even using it. So I need to get this stuff out, show you what I got and get it out on the water. Uh, we kind of got a mix, some new stuff, uh, some stuff that I kind of re-upped on and some things that I think will just be fun. So enough yapping, Let's see what we got. First off, we've got a few plastics from Big Bite Baits. Some of the Rojas Fighting Frogs. You know Dean Rojas. Now I'm not sure why they call these fighting frogs. They don't really look like a frog, I guess the whole Dean Rojas thing, but they've got these two long deals down here, you know, like crawfish. They've got a couple little legs that spin right here. Now as a Texas rig, flipping and pitching this around, it looks pretty cool. It's got kind of a subtle kick action to it, uh, which you'll see here in the old tank test. Don't mind the, uh, the funny decorations. My girls had to each put one in, so don't judge me. I've played around with these a little, uh, and I've only thrown them on a Texas rig, just flipping and pitching this around. It's actually a nice uh, bait about, around wood because it doesn't have a bunch of appendages that get caught, but uh, I thought maybe this could work as a chatterbait trailer on the back of like a buzzbait, uh, which you'll see here in a second. Just kind of a few different things. I suppose you could even cut it down and, well, not really because the bottom is uh, is cut open for your hook slot. So you couldn't really cut this off and use it as a jig trailer. So really something where only the head part of it here is solid, uh, Texas rig or, you know, something that's got a keeper here where it would hold it there. But I don't know. I like the Fighting Frog, kind of a cool... Kind of a subtle different action. I don't feel like Big Bite Baits gets talked a lot a ton. I feel like people see the packaging and it's like, you know, the old packaging and they're like, eh, boring. But that's the new GP Flamethrower color, uh, a newer color that I thought would look good on a red chatter. I also grabbed those in the BLT color, which is an interesting color. It's like black with purple flake up top and then it goes into this like greenish slash purplish highlights kind of swirled throughout it. Oh, should be a good dark water color. I'm digging it. And then I grabbed the Super 25 packs of my two favorite colors they make, black and blue flake with sapphire in it. And this is pretty much like the Debo special color uh, that they did over in the Missile Baits that collab with Monster Bass. It's like black with blue flake and it's got kind of like a sapphire-y and purple in it. Uh, you know, a good dark water color. And then to mimic some bluegill, green pumpkin, purple, copper flake. I mean, that's like, that's as bluegilly as you get. And I have to thank my buddy Brando for turning me uh, onto this color, the kamikaze craw. He threw it in, uh, but in this fighting frog, it looks pretty tasty. Now, keeping with the soft plastics, I had to get something for old Randizzle. You know, he is a huge fan uh, of the old Googie baits. We had to get him some, but I have to give the Googans props because there's not very many companies that do like a June bug green pumpkin or like a purple green pumpkin. Uh, and in my honest opinion, I think they absolutely killed this color. Green pumpkin purple is what they call it. Uh, green pumpkinish dark up on the top and it's got this iridescent -y purple on the bottom. These are some of the uh, the bandito bugs. Honestly, I haven't thrown these a ton, but I got some to throw on some trailers and of course give some to Randy because he'll probably steal them anyway. Oh yeah, and those are the juniors, the 3.3 inch. I like that smaller size for finesse jigs. Now kind of on the other end of the spectrum, a little bit bigger. This is the blazing worm. Again, that green pumpkin purple. Now if you've never thrown like a cut tail worm, a cutter worm, or some of the old cut tail worms, these things are awesome for just casting out and swimming in. It's like a finesse like retrieve bait, but you can also let it drop, drag it like a worm. It's a really versatile bait that, uh, you know, it's a big thing in the South. Guys up here used to do it and it's kind of something that's died off. So green pumpkin with that purple, that big tail, I suppose you could even fish this kind of up on top as big as that is. You can see it's kind of got those rage looking flange type deals. So it's definitely gonna grab and catch a lot of water, swim in this back or even putting it on like some sort of top water deal. Um, I think those are pretty neat, we'll give them a go. Okay, let's keep with the whole soft plastic vibe. I've got a few Z-Man things that I picked up. One, I think I got uh, some white ones of these uh, quite some time ago, but I wanted to get these again for some top water buzz frog toad type things, which I've been throwing this year and really liking. You're gonna see, you've already seen one video, you'll see another one coming up, uh, but I've also got a couple other buzz bait deals here. Um, these are the, what do they call them? The goat toads in the copper truce color. If you're a fan of, uh, speaking of, if you're a fan of the Burley Bunch, go follow those guys, Burley Fishing Good Dudes. But they uh, they swear by the uh, the Z-Man TRD in copper truce. That's what we've got here. And I got it to mimic, you know, bluegill, something bright with that chartreuse to stand out because, you know, the fish are going to be seeing this as it's buzzing over the top of their head. They're seeing the bottom of it. So that kind of dark but also bright chartreuse. Uh, Pike also seemed to like that, which I freaking love catching pike top water if you've never done it before. Uh, and these hold up really well to pike because it's that stretchy Elaztec. Uh, just don't mix your Elaztec with any other plastics because they'll melt. 
I also got a pack of those in black. They're four inches, you get three in a pack, but for as long as they last, uh, those three should last you quite some time. Now sticking with Z-Man, I got some of these scented jerk shads. I don't think these are new. Those goat toads uh, things or whatever are pretty new. These, I don't think they're new. Ooh, scented with Procure Super Gel. So these are some flukes. I wanted to get these to try on the back of some chatterbaits. I like the, uh, you know, the Elaz techie, stretchy, hold uppiness uh, of the Z-Man stuff in this fluke tail. So the problem that I have with, you know, like a regular five inch fluke, I usually cut them off. They're a little bit too big with these. This is of course the old school motor oil color. Talk about a, a color that people used to throw all the time and it seems like it's died off. Uh, I got these in a couple different sizes, the four inch and the five inch. This is the shiner color. That's a color that I love throwing around here in the Midwest. It works really well. Mimics a number of bait fish, shad, you know, minnows, any sort of thing like that swimming around. This does really good. And you can see just how much for me drinking a couple cups of coffee, how much is this, this is moving back there. And on a chatterbait, it doesn't work against it. This tail is moving with the chatterbait back there on a straight tailed uh, type of bait like this. So I think these are going to do really good. Like I said, I got those two sizes, the four inch and the five inch just to kind of see which I like better, but there's kind of a, a comparison of the two for you. Uh, I don't know, I think both of them look good. I also got the five inch smoky shad. Now that can also mimic a bluegill and whew, man, these got some crawdaddy type of stink to them. That can mimic a bluegill, kind of a shad. Uh, and this one is called bruised banana. I can tell you I very rarely throw yellow, but with that dark kind of brown top and the yellow belly, what's that look like? Looks like a bluegill, right? Some sort of sunfish. So. Uh, I thought it's worth a try. It looks interesting. I don't know. Comment below and let me know if you've thrown these scented jerk shads from Z-Man. Okay, last up from Z-Man, I actually got a couple things that go together. These are the SMH Shaking My Head Worms. You get uh, seven in the pack. They're six and a half inches long. Now, those plastics are meant to go with the Shaking My Head Jig Heads. I got one eighth and three sixteenth. Those are the two most common sizes I throw, uh, mostly for bank fishing. I'm throwing a one eighth and you know, eight foot of water or less, something like that. Go a little deeper, I'll throw these. Now it's different if you're on a boat and it's really windy, but those are generally what I throw. Now this is interesting because it's got that Z-Man, you know, that wire keeper, let me show you. It's got that little wire keeper right there that's designed specifically to hold Z-Man plastics, that wire that kind of grabs it. Let me grab one of these here. This is the smoke purple color. Y'all know I love some black and purple around here in the Midwest. Highly underrated and it works well. Now, one little tip for rigging up these. So you can see it's got this little wire here. I'm gonna go just in the head, just enough to get past kind of where that's gonna be. The head's gonna grab there. Just like that, kind of at a 45-ish degree angle instead of going straight down through the middle of it. Pull that down and over the keeper like so. Then I'm gonna take my hook, measure it up to about where it's gonna go. I'm just gonna stick it in the plastic and then just give it a pull. Now this isn't the straightest, I was trying to do this in the camera, but that's what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna sit on there straight like that, just like so, and I'm gonna throw this out and use this as a shaky head. So bounce in the bottom, this Elaztec floats, it's gonna come up like that. Kind of a cool little deal to hold your uh, your Z-Man plastics on there. You can rig them different ways. You could rig it up straight through the front of it and have your nose curled. Uh, that's just usually how I do these, like so. That way it's weedless, but your tip is right there, just enough to, uh, to catch that fish when they grab it. Pretty cool little setup. I also grabbed a pack of those in the green pumpkin goby when I ordered these pretty much right when they came out. There was only a couple colors available. I'm sure there's a bunch more now I should stock up, but uh, I haven't even thrown these yet. So we'll start with these and uh, see how they work. Okay, let's switch gears and go over to topwater. Now these are nothing new. These are just some of my favorite frogs. I know people ask me a lot, what's a really good frog? Uh, the Bully Watu from Ever to See, these are the 65 size. I do not like the smaller 55 size. Uh, I like the larger 65. So this is the Goliath color, kind of a brown, and it's got like a yellow, almost see-through-ish transparent belly. The Ghost, which is your standard white with kind of a yellow head, but I do like instead of a flat white belly, they've got some black kind of curls and lines in there to break that up. And similarly, we've got the yellow head, which is black, the yellow head, and then on the bottom, it's got the black with those little yellow kind of like designs on there to break up that belly. I like that, and I like the yellow head too. Uh, we don't have like the yellow head birds around here, whatever they call them, but uh, I think these black and yellow stand out well and work good. Then I also got one of the fat mat daddies. This is an ish frog, uh, bigger size, 70 size frog. Uh, this is with the rattle in the mudbird color, so that black with the yellow on there in the back. 
that's got a rattle on it. A little bit bigger, a little bit heavier to help push through that mat if you've got a little bit thicker top growth. If you've got a real light frog and you're dragging it across that, fish can't even see it. They can't see any sort of indentation in the moss. So some people add like BBs to it. This comes with a little rattle, a little bit heavier frog, three quarter ounce to helpfully push, you know, down through some of that moss and stuff so the fish can see that trail of that lure cutting through the moss and target it. Now this is a frog I'd never heard of, a newer frog, Toad Thumper. I've never heard of these guys. Uh, I don't know if they make other stuff. This is in the bad chicken color. Again, that black with the yellow head. But a cool look to it. Uh, like I said, I've never heard of the company, so I grabbed one to try it. I just got one. Uh, but you can see the black and chartreuse tail, which I really like. It's like that mega bass, big gabo uh, on that black color. Had a lot of luck on this one, but I like that it's like that flat, matte, black, yellow eyes, a little bit of yellow on the head. The belly is just pretty much a plain black though. Um, hooks on it, I did take them out and test. Super sharp on it. Uh, it does have glue there where the hooks come in, so hopefully you're not getting a bunch of, uh, of water in there. The, uh, the blowhole where you make the, the frog pee is here on the back on top, and you've got your weight down here on the bottom. Now this one does move uh, out of the way a little bit, but with that uh, you know glue stuff there, doesn't completely move. Usually that's something I look for because if that's just sitting there, that doesn't have a ton of room for hookup ratio, you can see. So I might have to bend the hooks up on this a little bit. Uh, but it is a popping frog. The mouth is incorporated into the plastic there. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I like frogs. And last for the top water baits, the Excite Baits Heckler. Now this is supposed to be like, so from what I've heard from people, supposed to match like the old Reaction Innovations Vixen. I never had one. I never fished one. I was a big like Zara Spook guy, um, KVD Sexy Dog. Those were the big ones that I fished most of the time. Some were Paula stuff, but... Those were the big ones. Now, I can tell you that I've already had one of these out. I forget what color it was. It's like the chartreuse top with kind of like the ghost pearl. This one is called Ghost Aura Blue, and this looks like a ghost minnow, if you know, like the Lucky Craft colors. It's got that kind of holographic middle in it, which looks cool because if you've got kind of cleaner, clearer water, that's giving off a flash because a little bit of this is still under the water. Uh, but that head shape there grabs just a little bit of water and spits. It's a good size. I want to say four and a half, um, like a half or three quarter ounces. I don't remember. I'll put these link, all these, everything that I'm talking about below in case you want to check them out. But hooks are really nice on it. Good sharp hooks. Uh, the hardware, I didn't change out or anything. Everything has worked well. But I had this out one night uh, video you'll see oh, coming up here when there was an absolute oh, yes. feeding frenzy. It was crazy. I wish I could have capitalized on a more. I really needed a boat from the oh, bank. No, it's hard to, uh, to chase those Man, they're going crazy you know, bass and, and hybrid bass chasing uh you know bait around schooling but i'll tell you does kind of have that hard knock but it's also got some little beads up in the front of it so you kind of get the both best of both worlds walks extremely easy um you know kind of reminds me of that sexy dog profile a little bit bigger awesome bait uh so far i really liked it i had one good night on it hope to uh, have some more so that ghost color and this is sunrise shad kind of like your uh, a muted sexy shad doesn't have any chartreuse or anything just white with a little bit of yellow almost like a bone that's kind of why i got it a straight white you can never go wrong with that Staying with the whole topwater vibe, the Picasso Lures Toad Slayer. I am absolutely loving this thing. You already saw one video of, of it. Uh, I had that Yamamoto frog deal that I got in the Monster Bass box, but I want to try different frogs on it. I've got another video coming up I caught a few on, but I grabbed a couple more of these. Remember I said in that video, I think, uh, that I was looking for them, I couldn't find them. I got one with the gold blade and one with the black blade. Now you can see here, this is a Hank Cherry. They worked with him to design it. Small, compact, you can put your soft uh, frogs, which is what I like, or like a little swim bait, a Kitek on. Uh, but what really makes this nice is this lead piece here. So on a lot of these buzz baits, you kind of have to finagle them on there. This one has a lead piece with a little lip here that grabs, made specifically for soft plastics. That is what it looks like. So even with the Elaztec, seems like it's going to grab and hold on to this with that little, you know, lead lip built in there. That's what you got. Good, straight, small, compact profile. I feel like I miss less fish on a little like compact buzz bait like this as opposed to a bigger one with a big huge huge blade sometimes you want that you know if it's you know choppier you want to move more water but this thing i think uh should have no problem mimicking a bluegill around here some of these smaller lakes and ponds uh, that baby's definitely going to get bit and picasso already rusted the rivet on it so you've got kind of that squeaky sound already to it now this could be just silly but i also grabbed one of these they've got like two little blades and it's a, a dual double flinging buzz baiting thing i really don't ever throw these i saw it when i ordered it i figured you know what i'll grab one with the black blades and give it a go 
Quick re-up on a bait. I did grab some more. These are going to see a video of me fishing these soon again as well. Uh, missile baits. These are the Ike's mini swim jig. Really nice. I like the 7 16th ounce uh, is what I've been using a lot. So I re-upped and grabbed a few more of those. Green pumpkin bone, which is actually what I fished the other day. You'll see the video. And then some of that purple chartreuse. They call it bombshell. This, uh, this green pumpkin they call bluegill, which should match some bluegill. So I'm going to throw those some more. I am really liking those if you want a little smaller compact Swim jig from Powerbait. Ordered these quite some time ago. I haven't even got to throw them. They're called the Crash Craw. I think they have a couple different sizes, and I believe I've got some June Bug and some other colors of these in a different box that I ordered. But these are the three and a half inch white, and what makes them kind of cool is they're just a little punch craw look type bug. Nothing too crazy about it. Not a bunch of appendages. So if you're throwing in heavy wood, heavy cover, this is going to get through there really easy. Notice how it's all streamlined this way. So as you throw it, it's going to be coming through just like that. But you've got those two tails back there still kicking and moving water. If I rigged it this way, I could probably even use it as like a, a back of a buzzbait trailer like those frogs. I don't know. Maybe even a chatterbait trailer could rig it up and try that this way. That way it kind of goes over wood. Uh, that's a 10 horse Monty tip. Gabe, thanks for that. Uh, but rig it like that. goes over wood. Maybe doesn't roll over and get snagged as much. Okay, back to missile baits again, but something brand new. I bought way too many of these, but the colors uh, and the, the worms look so damn good. These are the six inch magic worms made by Robo Worm for missile baits. So it's a collaboration be between the two, and you can tell as soon as you see these worms, you can tell they're a Robo Worm. Now, like the little Robo Worms on a drop shot, I'll be honest, I haven't thrown them a ton. I've caught a couple fish on them, but drop shot game uh, is not my deal. Now, these bigger worm, these should work on a shaky head, some of those shake my head rigs, uh, whatever type of shaky head you want. You know, kind of like your morning dawn color. Great in clear water. I got the watermelon violet. So this is kind of what I figured to mimic bluegill, kind of that green pumpkin-y. Can even mimic a crawfish, I suppose, if they see it, not the shape, but you know, if they get a look at that color. Oftentimes I just think they see something that looks edible and they just grab it, right? Doesn't have to mimic anything. Not really a bunch of big worms like this crawling around, but that green pumpkin, that red flake in it, that kind of brownish and blue highlights and lines through it. And these are an open pour, so I think it's like the open pour technology or whatever. They have different lines of plastics in there, so you can see where those hard lines of colors go through. Pretty neat. Got another good look in clear water color. That's the passion shad, kind of pale with a little bit of a pinkish purplish line through it. Oh, that black and blue is true. That's the Bruiser Flash, one of my absolute favorite colors from Missile Baits. I think I caught like a five and a half on a Missile Baits D-Bomb in that color last year, flipping around wood. Oh, I'm sorry, that first color I showed you was Missile Morning. I lied to you. That was not the color that John caught him on. That first pinkish, purplish morning dong looking. This, this is the John's Juice color. It's an interesting color. It's got like this pinkish purple on top, and it's got like an iridescent color kind of running through it with a green pumpkin bottom. Colors on these are awesome. Cool looking worm. I suppose you could even wacky rig this or Neko rig it, Nico rig it, however you say it with a little weight here. Popping that, hopping along like so. Few different things you can do. Mm, good looking color. And last but not least, I grabbed some magic pumpkin red. Kind of that watermelony top uh, with the red flake through it. Then kind of like a green pumpkin bottom, darker on the bottom. But last but not least, we're ending on some plastic. So again, another chatterbait trailer. I've, I've kind of been looking at some different things, trying to mess with my chatterbait trailers. What do I like? What do I want to try different? This is a new one from Nichols Lures called the Flapjack. Now this is, uh, of course, the June bug color, you know, that purpley color. I love a darker June bug color. And look at this thing. I believe these are four inches, four and a half inches. It doesn't say on here, but they've got these in, this interesting fish looking tail on the back. So it's almost got those like rage, you know, type little flange type things back here that's going to catch it. But, you know, instead of like a rage menace or something where they're kind of smaller, different look, I mean, that looks just like a fish tail. So if you're trying to mimic like a bluegill, you put this on a swim jig, it's going to kick back there. You put it on a chatterbait, it's going to kick. Kind of big, um, you know, if you're looking for a little bit bigger profile, should work well. But it's got these kind of ribs on the body to help move water, catch water, vibrate. Uh, just an interesting looking deal. I remember when I seen these come out, I was like, yeah, I think those are cool. Well, if you're wondering, that's what it looks like. You imagine that swimming through, that looks like some fish tail moving and kicking back here. You can rig it vertically like that, so the tail looks just like it would on a fish. I don't know, I think that looks pretty cool. Comment below and let me know what you think of this thing on a chatterbait. Uh, or a swim jig like this swimming through. Looks tasty. Also got those in the best color ever, which is like the Tramp Stamp or 1099. It's got that like green pumpkin blue flake on one side, 
black and blue on the other. One of my absolute all-time favorite colors ever. And this is Sight Flash, so like a white with like a kind of a clear pearlish on the other side of it. You know, a good shad, bait fish type mimicking white color. So that's it, fish and friends. Comment below and let me know what you're the most excited to see. Maybe some of these, uh, the missile bait slash robo worm collaboration worms. Maybe you want to see some more fighting frog Texas rig action. Like it or not, you are going to see some of the Excite Baits heckler action because uh, this bait's pretty sweet. Now tonight's subscribe fish and friend is my guy Richard Souza. Richard, thank you for watching and thank you everybody else. I truly mean it for watching, supporting. I'm a guy in my basement, uh, still working a full-time job, trying to do the YouTube thing on the side and you all, continue to watch and support. It blows me away. Uh, I love it. I want to be able to pump out more content. I'm trying to get my butt to work so you can see more unboxings, more gear reviews, more fishing, a little bit of everything because uh, it's fun and you all deserve it, right? So that's enough for me. I got to get to editing. Thank you all for watching and until next time. <laughs>